We're covering 7-4, applying properties of similar triangles. Remember to take notes and do the check it out problems. Our two learning targets today, I can use properties of similar triangles to find segment lengths, and I can apply proportionality and triangle, triangle angle bisector theorems. <laughs> Ooh, that's a mouthful. <laughs> you might not be able to say it, but hopefully you can apply it. All right, so here's something useful. Artists use mathematical techniques to make 2D paintings appear 3D. Did you know that? Well, now you do. The invention of perspective. Who invented perspective, Miss Aiken? Mr. Perspective. <laughs> was based on the observation that faraway objects look smaller and closer objects look larger. So we're going to see this later in this lesson, so just hold on. <laughs> First, we're going to get to some theorems. Triangle proportionality theorem, if a line is parallel to the side of a triangle and intersects the other two sides, it divides those sides proportionally. So we have here EF, it is parallel to BC, and so it divides the sides proportionally, meaning AE, whoops, I didn't change the color, darn it, <laughs> meaning AE is to EB, as AF is to FC. Second theorem is converse of that. And so basically it says if you know that this over this, this ratio of sides is equal to the ratio of this over this, then this line has to be parallel to this side. Nice. So in this example, we want to find the length of US. Okay, so using the um, triangle proportionality theorem, we know that RV, which is the side length here, we're on multiple pins. So RV is to BT, this part here, as RU is to US. That's our proportion we set up. Plug in our values, we get 10 over 4 equals 14 over US. Cross product, 10 US equals 56. Divide both sides by 10, and the length of US will be 5.6. Beautiful. Thanks. All right, your turn. Find PN. So you're going to use the same theorem. It's this. It's a little bit blurry. I don't know. It's my eyes or what? Yeah. OK. It looks great to me. OK, here, now we want to use the converse. We're going to verify that segment DE is parallel to BC. So we want to show that these guys are parallel. To do that, we show that the sides are, the corresponding parts are proportional. So AE is to EC as AD is to DB. And let's fill everything. Okay, so what we're looking for, we end up with a true equation here, and that means that they're proportional. So we plug in our values. We get 8 over 12 equals 10 over 15. I like to simplify before I multiply, get rid of the large numbers. 8 over 12 simplifies to 2 over 3. 10 over 15 simplifies to 2 over 3 also. Oh, we could stop right here and say it's equal or cross product and get 6 equals 6. So therefore, since the, those corresponding sides are proportional, we know that um, not AE, we know <laughs> All technical difficulties. We know that segment DE is parallel to segment BC, so therefore. All right. Now it's your turn. AC is 36 and BC is 27, so please verify that DE is parallel to AB. Here are, here's a corollary and a theorem. The two transversal proportionality, those are some weird words, states if three or more parallel lines intersect two transversals, then they divide the transversals proportiona proportionally. So in this case, we have three parallel lines here. We have our two transversals. And so it's telling us is that AC, the AC is to CE, which is this piece here, we didn't change again, and BD is to DF. And that's what our conclusion tells us. The next one, the triangle angle bisector theorem. An a lot of angles. It has a lot of angles. An angle bisector of a triangle divides the opposite side into two segments whose lengths are proportional to the lengths of the other two sides. So here we have an angle bisector. AD is our bisector. And it's marked with these angles here being congruent. And so it tells us that BD 
this segment here is to DC as AB is to AC. That's our conclusion for the triangle angle bisector theorem. All right. So we are going to use these theorems. First one says, suppose an artist decided to make a larger sketch of the trees. <laughs> of course they would. And it tells us AB is 4, whoops, what does it tell us? It tells us AB is 4.5, BC is 2.6, CD is 4.1, and, and KL is 4.9. It wants us to find LM. You can't really see that very well, can you? No. It wants us to find LM. And MN, so those two segments. Whew. So I set up my proportions. AB is to KL as BC is to LM. I filled in my values, cross multiplied, and that gives me 4.5 LM is equal to 12.74 divided by 4.5, and I find LM is 2.8 inches. To find MN, we're going to use segment CD instead. So we know AB is to KL as CD is to MN. Fill in our values, cross multiply. 4.5 MN is equal to 20.09. Divide, and you find that MN is about 4.5 inches. Very nice. And here's your check it out. Use a diagram to find the length of LM and MN to the nearest tenth. All right, here's the angle bisector theorem. So remember, the ratio of this to this is going to be equal to the ratio of this to this. Okay, so we set up our ratio. PS is to SR as PQ is to RQ. Fill in all the values and expressions we have. Cross multiply. That will get us to 40x minus 80 is equal to 32x plus 160. Move our like terms to one side and we end up with 8x is 240, or x is 30. So they ask us to find PS and SR. So PS is going to be x minus 2, which is going to be 28. SR is x plus 2, which is 35. And look, it's your turn now. Find the length of AC and DC. All right, so that is it. So what have we done? Similar triangles are based on proportions. So we did a lot with proportions. Proportion means we have the same r ratio, and we had four theorem theorems dealing with proportions. Triangle, can I say proportions enough time, do you think? <laughs> triangle proportionality theorem, converse of triangle proportionality theorem, two transversal theorem, and my favorite, triangle angle bisector theorem. Nice job. Good luck bringing questions to class.